Those turtle sounds are still so creepy. Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Hi, it's been a little while. I think I got a video out last week. Um, but I've got... I've got an unfinished business. I've got a brown code villager in here. Is the microphone position correctly? I don't think so. <clears throat> Let's try that. Uh, trying a new keyboard. May end up uh, giving up on it and going back to the other one. But we'll see. Um, bah. Okay. And let me adjust the keyboard. How's it going? I'm back. We did a little post vacation thing already. Right wrap up already. Is that better? That feels a little better. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, somebody just texted me, uh, and I did not silence my phone. We'll see if I like this keyboard. If we can continue doing that, I need some rockets. I think. Yeah, I need some rockets. And then uh, let's go. Let's take a little fly. Hello, chicken. We are still on Minecraft 1.13.2 on the server. Uh, I'm pretty sure I feel comfortable uh, upgrading. And I think everyone else is up for it as well. So it's just a matter of backing up, doing the upgrade, and then going and double checking things. And I had kind of a busy, busy week. Um, and busy weekend so i've got a few minutes here but not enough time to actually go and do all the things but out over here there's something worth looking at if i can find it otherwise i'll have to go back go through the nether because i know there's a portal nearby but how have you been i've been good i've been busy work has gotten busy because of course everyone's now like oh wait you're leaving <laughs> Um, if I just hit F, no, I have to do function F5. Ah, I found it. Let's, uh, it's not entirely done from the looks of it, but let's go down and land and see what we can see. So the aquarium from last time is right behind me there. And right over here is a gigantic maze. Let's go have a look. This might be the entrance. I'm not positive. Oh, there's steps up here. Ah, ah. So this is not, this is not done, but it is a maze. Whoa. Complicated elevator thingy. Oh goodness. Get a better vantage from up here. Look at this. Look at this. It's a huge maze. Like a hedge maze. And it's real. Um yeah, so do we how do we get back down without burning ourselves? Oh, we'll just hold shift. And then it's going to go down, and there's going to be a whole layer underneath, from what I understand. I haven't seen all this yet, um, not in, uh, entirely. So yeah, and there's all this. Ah. This is going to be crazy. A lot of glowstone. So anyway, still work in progress, but let's go up into the maze itself and see. See what we can find. So the, the vines are here to give you a chance to sort of pop up and peek out and see where you are. Um, and I think there's uh, going to be an opportunity 
for this to be kind of a labyrinth in the sense of there will be monsters and things in here. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but it's a maze and you can get lost and pretty easily, I think. This is, uh, this is really cool. This is not hedge stuff. This is concrete powder. And she's gonna cover the whole thing in glass so that I I think the idea being that uh, phantoms won't necessarily be a problem. Although that could be an issue if you get lost out here for a while. And lightning strikes won't um, cause problems. And I don't know if concrete powder I think it would be cool if concrete powder turned into concrete in the rain. And of course that would protect, prevent the rain as well. Uh, but it's a real maze and it has an actual solution and I don't know what that solution is. And of course I'm just wandering aimlessly right now. A lot of glass going on up there, isn't there? Um, and of course, a lot of that came from the desert here that was flattened out for this maze, which is pretty cool. And of course, a maze like this, you can just brute force it, but... Um, oh, is that a loop? Nope, dead end. Okay. So now that I've been using it for a couple minutes, I prefer this keyboard to the other one. It's... Uh, it's a little quieter, but it's got a better feel to it. Maybe, maybe you're hearing it. I don't know. Um, I like it better. It's it's a little bit bigger though. It's a, uh, I feel like I'm walking around circles. Uh, it's a still 60% keyboard. Actually, it's got an extra row of uh, directional keys on it. It's a little, it's definitely heavier than the other one, um, but. We'll see the angle on it is a little bit weird and it has a dedicated row of function keys which is nice but I still have to press the function button to use them otherwise and there's only the function buttons on the right hand side of the keyboard which is a little weird so getting getting to like F3 and F5 are a little bit a little bit wonky uh -huh. But this is seriously cool. And if it does have little spots where mobs can can spawn, um, I think it'll be kind of a fun little adventure game. And they're probably nowhere near the solution path. And it'd be nice if the the glass extended far enough that you couldn't necessarily see the edges of it because it's at this point it's kind of actually a helpful aid for seeing how far along in the maze you are. Um, not that keeping that a secret is necessarily the point of the design, but. And with, with the little vines here, I can sort of pop up and see how far I've gotten and how far I have left to go. And um, and actually, I guess, walk along the top if I feel I have to. But it'd be nice if that wasn't... This feels like a loop that will end in a dead end. But maybe it leads to a long hallway that goes the other direction. I don't know. More decision points. So as I said, I've been busy. I had kind of a super busy uh, magic themed week. This week is the Hollywood Hollywood week, or not Hollywood week, Halloween week at the Magic Castle. Um, they've decorated the whole place up in a kind of Indiana Jones theme. And it's, they call it the Cursed Temple. And I cannot wait to see 
what it looks like all dressed up. Uh, and then they have some events planned, including uh, Thursday the, the 30th, the night before Halloween. That's This is, has to be a dead end. Yeah. Uh, is a uh, members only night. Hall, uh, the members only Halloween party. And we have dining reservations for that night, so we know we'll be able to get in. Things get kind of busy because we have members coming from all over the world at this point, coming in to uh, be at the castle during this week, which is kind of a big... Halloween week is kind of a big deal at the Magic Castle. So um, that's pretty cool. And... Um, so we're going on the Thursday, going to have dinner and going to, uh, go in costumes because costumes are mandatory. Sun's going down. I've slept recently and this all appears to be pretty well lit. So I'm not too worried about being out here at night. Oh, that may change. I feel like I'm wandering awfully far towards the side, but that might be where the solution path is. And of course I have rockets, so if I needed to, I could always just, oh, that's, that's mean, three paths. So anyway, that's that. And then I have a little magic meetup that I do at Crash Space been doing it about once a month and that is uh, that happened this past week so I did the most recent version of that and then I had I don't know what else there are other magic themed things I feel like I'm getting lost again I did not make my way back to the spot where I had three doorways to walk through <clears throat> and then work's been a little busy because as I said people are like starting to be like oh wait you're leaving we need to get you we need to get you to help us out with things before you're before you're gone which to me if I'm the only choice to do it means maybe they shouldn't be firing me or laying me off or whatever you want to call it but whatever um So I've been a little busy with work and I need to get started on, I need to refresh my LinkedIn and build a resume. I haven't had a resume in about 20 years. So I need to put one together and start looking for another job. So we will uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, and in the meantime, I'm trying to squeeze in doctor's appointments. Um, well, I still have health insurance and, or before I have to find new health insurance and um, and yeah, so things have been a little busy. Haven't really made much progress on the survive. All the the materials needed in order to build the rest of the carrot farms that I have planned. And so I need to get that underway and then I need to, as I said, back up the server and up do the uh, apply the update. Well, oh, we're getting towards the end here. Cheating. Yeah, we are. Oh, this is the outer wall, so make our way along here and this could be a huge dead end I could wander I could have to wander halfway back across the maze in order to get to the exit so yeah busy 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 um, and it's dead end. that's about it 
went to a magic convention my first magic convention over the, the last couple days it was on friday and saturday it was the penguin magic magic max Ma penguin max west uh it's in a hotel in culver city and yeah, this is one big dead end um that was interesting there were a bunch of magicians doing lectures and performances and hanging out in the crowd watching said lectures and performances oh short wall um <clears throat> so that was that was interesting i've never been to one before um also am i have tickets for a convention that's happening in january in columbus ohio called uh uh, Magi Fest. So need to do. Uh, I need to book my flight and whatnot for that. Just a little painful, given that I may not have a job at the time, which is uh, a little disconcerting. But I really want to go, and Chihuahua Power G is kind of insisting that I go ahead and go. And so that's that's cool. So that'll be that should be interesting it'll be a bigger convention and um we get more of the the convention experience out of it i guess Dead end. oh there should be a little treasure chest along the way here <clears throat> sorry snorting in your ear um there could be little chests scattered around with uh, miscellaneous stuff like food in case you run out. Um, feel like I'm backtracking. That's a dead end. It could be food, there could be a little treasure dead end um it could be weapons to help you fight the mobs there could be little uh, potions to help you heal yourself be nice if there were a convenient non-destructive way to do a little bit of a breadcrumb trail here but uh, that's not really that's not really a feasible thing Okay, this is all one huge dead end. Oops. I don't know which way I came from. Um, okay. Was that the back side of the, the half wall that I saw from the other side? Might be. Anyway, that's kind. That's kind of it. Uh, I just wanted to show this maze because I uh, clearly, I think it's super cool, and clearly a lot of work has gone into it, and is still going into it. So we will see when it gets done, and it might be fun to come hang out and try your hand. Maybe like have a rule where you have to deposit your armor before you enter in, or you can only come in in like leather armor and wooden swords or something like that no bows and come in and have to battle the skeletons and zombies and whatnot um be nice if there were a way of preventing creepers from spawning specifically so they don't go blowing up the walls of the labyrinth i am getting completely turned around here now um but you know could be an interesting challenge plenty of things to hide behind which means that you could creeper should be relatively easy to deal with if you're smart about it but oh this is gonna be a dead end maybe or no dead end. Uh, 
and the sun's coming up. I survived the night in the labyrinth. Dead end. This might also be fun with a kind of a slow, like once we update the server and we get crossbows, this could be kind of a fun thing to do with crossbows. Because um, they're relatively slow to, to reload, so you have to be a little bit more strategic about your use of them. You can't spam them. Um, not that you can spam arrows now at this point, but... Uh, oh, no, dead end. Yeah, I'm completely lost, I think. The maze does have a solution. I am I know that. Dead end. Yeah, exits all the way over there. I've been over in this corner before. And I know that back wall does not contain the path to the exit. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm not going to belabor this too much. Obviously, I'm not. I'm, I'm completely being counterproductive on the maze right now. But we'll keep playing around with it and see what we can do. Uh... That's it for now. Next time, uh, probably next time I record, we will be uh, actually up updating the server. Um, whoa! Don't don't die. There we go. Here's the exit, presumably, and then over here is just another a staging area. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Okay. Oh, is the whole... F no. Is the whole floor of this on half slab, so nothing will spawn in there? Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's it. I've been recording long enough, I think. I had time to head back home. And there we go. So next time, uh, no promises, but next time will probably be uh, the update. And we'll have to wander around and see what broke. I mean, I already did some testing, uh, but I've not been out to the Guardian Farm. We'll need to check that. But that'll be it. And we will have the update and we'll be able to start exploring some of the new stuff. And we'll have to go out to one of the, the distant villages and see if we can play our way through one of the raids. I think that would be fun. And, uh, yeah. So I think that's it. Thank you for watching. This is Theron, Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. All right. Bye.